Hey, good morning, folks. This is AJ. In this video, we're going to be helping out a church um, upgrade from live streaming with their phone into a camera and route it all into their computer with OBS using some Ethernet and HDMI's and extenders and all that other fun stuff. So, hey, I'm getting out of the house. So, <laughs> let's go. AJ the CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by. And on this channel, we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So because of everything that's going on, well, now, let me do it this way. So I'm down here at uh, a church that's reached out to me who was actually a subscriber and he didn't realize how close I was to him. Um, I pretty much... Um, had a conversation with him and they were live streaming over their phone and they got everything set up based off of this video here that I have recently updated with some um, help for um, OBS downloads and stuff like that that you can check out in the description and I'll have in the description in this video. Um, they followed that and got everything up um, but they weren't happy with the quality so they ended up getting a Elgato HD 60S um, USB capture device. They got a Canon R800 for a better quality. I believe this is a tripod and they also got a Ori HDMI over Ethernet extender. So we're going to be installing all that stuff to give them a higher quality of live stream and they're going to be running everything through OBS. And um, this won't really take that long, but just want to take you along with me while we do that, because hopefully this might help some of y'all out with this, because those items that he ordered, he actually was able to get all of them from Best Buy. So always check that out if you can. Best Buy is still doing like curbside pickup if there's one near you. And you may be able to find it on Amazon. Hopefully they haven't marked up the price, but I will have a link to everything um, in the description and let's get out of here and get everything set up and it's only two people here It's only me and the pastor. So Social distancing. All right So pretty much what we're gonna do is I have the personas that I had used at my church that I'm not using anymore That's what we're gonna use to pull in audio from their Behringer X32 and then send it because they they were just pulling in sound from the phone this we can put this in place and this is going to bring in sound from the house all the instruments and everything a much better quality sound just connect this over usb i have the drivers so they're good with that i have uh, pre-made about a uh, 100 foot 125 foot cat 6 cable that's gonna be used for the hdmi over ethernet extender I brought my other tripod here that I normally take with me to games and sorry there's a train over here that um tripod here so just in case if they need something because this is going to be set in the back of the sanctuary and I got all my tools and stuff like that to crimp the other end and re-terminate all that so let's get inside all right so what we're going to do is go ahead and get everything installed like I said here is the whoop the personas that we're going to be installing and most likely we're going to be putting the camera right there under the tv and i have some ethernet cable that we're going to be using to run and connect everything this won't take very long so let's go ahead and get started all right so we got the tripod that's going to go in the back now um because i think y'all are running the tripod right here in the front with the phone right all right so we'll have the Canon R800 in the back on that tripod. And like I said, I got the ethernet that originally right now is just gonna run across the floor, but we're gonna come back and put it in the ceiling and run over to the media booth um, <laughs> once all this stuff calms down. All right, so for the added benefit, we're going to, um, and I think we talked about this before, we're gonna be in here, they have a Behringer X32. And what we're gonna do is plug this in to get sound from the house from the cameras into the full system so here's the x32 and we're going to connect these quarter inches and then we're going to plug into usb into this computer which i have the drivers for it makes it real easy to send all the sound over a us 
B cable. Now this, the Personas one, I really like this, but it's been discontinued. So if you can't find that, if you need something like that, I think it's the Scarlet um, 2i2 does the exact same thing. Persona set up. We are plugged in into the aux out. This just needs to be set so that sound actually is going to come out of here from the Behringer settings. And now let's install some drivers. All right, so this is the HD60 S by Elgato. You should still be able to get these at Best Buy um, or you can order them from Amazon. Don't know how quick you get them from Amazon, but we're pretty much gonna run the extender from the camera into this end and it goes over USB-C, which is cool. And then you have this out as a pass through if needed. We're not gonna be using that right now. Really straightforward. I had a couple of people ask me about this. Please make sure you need to install the game capture software on this even if you're using OBS because that's where all the drivers and everything to get this set up. So let's install this and we're gonna install the drivers for um, the personas at the same time. All right, here's our Ori HDMI over CAT6 extender. We're just gonna plug this in. This is the receiver. So this is what's gonna go on this side that connects to the HD60S. And then this is the one that's gonna be sitting beside the camera in the sanctuary. So let's set this aside. But just make sure what we're gonna do now that everything's been restarted, we wanna make sure that this works right here before we even add this extender because there's no point in setting all this other stuff up and then find out it don't work. Process of elimination, just start at the easiest stuff first and then work our way back. Now I didn't mention where I'm at, so this is, uh, <laughs> St. Paul's Church of God in Christ here in Emporia, Virginia. Pastor, did you, did you want to give a shout out or did you want to stay anonymous and not on the video at all? Hey man, we're just glad to have uh, AJ, the CEO, down here helping us out. So I'm looking a little rough today. So, you know, you can turn the camera away from, away from me. But we're just glad to have him down here. He's been a great help. Um, his YouTube videos and, you know, setting aside time to come down and uh, get us hooked up. Um, so that we can probably do, do something that we probably should have been doing a long time ago. But as the old saying goes, better late than never. Yes, so right. we're, you know, thankful for him and his services and his time and expertise and all of that wonderful stuff. So if you are a ministry in the Central Virginia area, especially, but I know he has a. a a national following now, but definitely if you're within driving distance of him and make the investment uh, to bring him down and let him design a system for you that will um, will allow you to share your ministry with the world as we are, you know, having to adjust because of this present day pandemic. But, um, but what he's helping us do now will be a blessing to our ministry and to all who uh, follow us from this point forward. So we're just you know, glad to have him here with this set Thank you for the kind words, sir. Very much appreciative of that. So we're just setting up our main camera for our settings. All right, so camera is here. Now let me move this so y'all can see. So we got this all set up. And now we need to just plug this in and we should get an image here. Let me set my camera up. It so doesn't fall over, please. All right, hopefully that'll do. So we're just gonna plug that up into our in. Turn it on. Boom, there we go. Now we have to adjust this because this is a higher resolution than the phone. So we just do fit the screen. Boom, there we go. Now what we gotta do now is we know this works here. So what we need to do first is turn off all the display because we need a clean image that's coming out on the screen. So where's that at? Home. Let's do our settings. Home. There it goes. 
So what we need to do is turn off all that stuff that you don't need to see because we need a clean plate that's coming out here. on-screen display. This is what we need to turn off so that it is a clean image. And yeah, so now we have a clean image that's going to be coming through here and we already know everything is working because we have it here. Now we're going to add the HDMI extender and then we should be good. All right, so we got the camera set up um, outside in the sanctuary. Now we're just gonna connect this and put the first extender on here. And then I need to cut a cable or terminate a cable for this. Oh, I'm, I'm backwards. This does go over there. This is the one that stays here. So we hook this up, we got some power. And this cable, is, the Elgato is long enough. I'm gonna put all this down here so it's up and out of the way. Here we go. This is where we got it set up for right now. And let's just plug this in. Wish I had a longer cable, but this isn't that heavy. So it just, it's not like it's going to do any damage. I could Velcro it to here so it's not going anywhere, but we'll see what we do with that. All right, so I have some zip ties, and I'm going to zip tie this here. So it's not just dangling right there, it has some support, but this is fine. So now I just gotta run the cable. This goes up to 164 feet. That is not 164 feet there. That's probably like maybe 75. So I am gonna leave some extra slack in the cable so that when I come back and run this wire here, I don't have to pull a new cable. I can just use the same one. Um, so I think we should be good. So y'all can see we got all the video coming in with the extender. Everything is good. Now we're just gonna have, uh, we got the, the professional here who's gonna get our sound right. Cause like I said, I don't know sound. So he's gonna route everything through an XLR and then we're gonna bring that into the persona. So we're gonna have sound coming into the live stream from the board. And again, there was really nothing to change in here except for just pointing the camera audio to the audio USB um, personas and then we're gonna be good here all right so we got everything sound is coming through perfectly fine I did a demo live stream to Vimeo and everything is looking good so I think my work here is done All right, so today was very productive. Um, went a little bit longer than I thought because I had my, the, the Cat6 cable that I made was too long and that's what was throwing off the signal because those boxes are only rated for a certain distance. Um, but we got everything straight. Um, we got the sound and everything. Did some tests and up the quality of their live stream. So I think this is gonna be great because pretty much the pastor is just gonna be him and a musician on Sunday and they're live streaming that. So I think they're gonna be really happy with what they were doing because they started with just a phone and 
you see what they're upgraded to. So again, thank you, St. Paul's Church of God in Christ here in Emporia, Virginia. Now let me head back so I can get back to my social distancing and um, get some more <laughs> work from my church and some other churches here and answering y'all's questions because my phone's been blowing up all day while I'm here. So if you like this type of content, I appreciate a like. Consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. This is AJ. We will see you on the next video later.